more than a thousand industry leaders joining to discuss a common scourge. If we don't see performance improvement, then obviously government would have to act. But our, our view is that the industry is ready to change and we want to work with industry. A year on from a scathing inquiry into their industry, there was recognition of changes made, but a reminder of work to come. About one quarter or 23.5 per cent of women report sometimes often or very often experiencing sexual hostility, such as being subjected to pornographic pictures or questions about their sex lives. We are working together to change a culture that has been decades in the making. It will take time and it requires ongoing attention and vigilance. We've all done all the easy stuff. We've dealt with infrastructure, we've dealt with physical changes, we've dealt with CCTV and security. Um, now we're into the harder parts, which is around cultural change. And that is a thousand different things that have to take place in that. The sector's confident government won't have to step in. Industry is moving very quickly and we have started change well before the Enough is Enough report was completed. But the idea of a statewide blacklist of offenders has stalled. Through a myriad of legal, uh, natural justice and privacy issues, it isn't something that we have been able to pursue in that format. Just because something is difficult doesn't mean uh, that it can't be grappled with. The government maintains it's a matter for industry to resolve, adding its focus has been on supporting small and medium players in the sector, as well as boosting the capacity of a WorkSafe hotline helping victims of sexual harassment and bullying. Speak up. Report it. Kian Burke, ABC News.